What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another one of our roulette strategy videos. Appreciate you checking this one out. Today, we're talking about another math versus luck system. This one's called the step up ladder system, also known as the ultimate win, never lose system, also known as the my favorite system. I play it all the time, also known as triple D ultimate climax, whatever you call it. It's very, very easy. Probably the easiest of the math systems, if you don't count Martingale. It plays out like this. You pick a dozen or a column, you play whatever unit you want. For every $10 units, you add $500 of bankroll, right? So if you play 10 bucks, you do 500. If you do 20 bucks, you do 1,000, right? And really you could do 1,000 with 100, but you're gonna run out of money quickly. Works like this. If you win, you stay where you're at. If you lose, you go up a, a step, up a unit. If you win there, you go down a unit. It's that easy. You set a boundary for yourself. And when you hit that boundary, you walk away. Mm -hmm. This isn't a, a lot of the time you're actually going to be down, which is good. You want to be down early and fast because when it hits, you'll reach your set goal, your walk off point, and you'll be totally good to go to like, Spend it on whatever else you want. So we're going to do $10, $500 buy-in. We're going to pick one of the dozens, play in the top one like I always like to. Vicky, would you like to play as well? No, no, no. Let's just do a little simulation of just one, and then we'll, then we'll get some dabble in later. Okay. So let us restart because we need the stats, and we'll go to hold, 10, spin. Good luck. 11. We lost. Yeah. We go up a unit. We win, we go down a unit. We lose, we go up a unit. It's this easy. We lose, we go up a unit. We're at 30. Oh, our walk-off point is always half your bankroll. So we're 10 bucks, buy-in's 500, walk-off point's half your bankroll. We're looking for 200 bucks. If you do a buy-in of 1,000, you should be betting with 20s, 25s, or 100s. Your walk-off point's 500 bucks. Sometimes you go and I've seen people do this with, if you're going to bet a thousand, I recommend $4,000 buy-in mm. and your walk-off points, 2,000. You can't do that. You're going to. You just be at a high roller table. No, because your bets are only a hundred. Generally uh, the outside bets, your maximum on the outside bets, even on smaller tables is 5,000. Oh, really? And you're never going to get that high. So always just try to half your bankroll. Um, we lost. So we go up a unit. We're up at 40. We go up another unit. We're at 50. We're already down 70 bucks. We're now down 120. That's good, we want to be down low early. Now Correct. I want to hit good. If we hit twice in a row, we walk off now. 14. Red. Definitely now. We're pretty close to our limit, though. 36. That hits. We're still down 40. We go down one unit, so we're betting 60. If this hits now, we win our money. And we're really in a good spot. Nine. Huge. Wow. See, huge. They know. they know what we're playing. Huge. It knows. We go down to 50. If this hits, we've reached our limit and we walk away. Eight. We go back up to 60. I think if this hits, we're still good. Four. We go up to 70. We're only Why down we 30 bucks. Away? I thought we were going to walk away. We didn't get to 200. Seven. Red. We go up to 80. We're down 100 bucks, which isn't bad. We hit it. Black. We're up 60 bucks. We go down to 70. See, you should go back to zero. You should go back to one. Nah, 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 nah. There we go. Black. 200 bucks. Walk away. Thir 15 spins. We turn $10 into 200 bucks. Look at the stats. So this is why I do this. I think it's really, really fun. It's well, we got so a lot here. more like, woo, right? A lot more than the other math systems. But because of the odds of you getting a double dozen in a row after losing so many in a row you have a really good chance of reaching your goal i think it's like 70 percent chance a lot of people have done the math on this you can see all that online ceg has a really good mathematician that does stuff for them 70 percent chance to reach 50 percent of your bankroll every time which is really good odds most of the time casinos you're not going to get that type of style so this system's a lot more volatile. You're going to be down a lot more than you're going to be up. But the odds of you winning two dozens in a row when you're already betting so high pretty much 
helps you get to that point. So what's now, your max bet ever? Until you're out of your bankroll. I so recommend you go until you're out of bankroll. You half. No, you're trying to win half. You play until you're out of your bankroll. So you would play until you're out of five hundred dollars. Yeah, with all these systems, you would play until you're out of five hundred bucks. It's the only that's, chance to win that's money. That's just like not my vibe. <laughs> you know, it's not even like that. It's just like I like to play systems that I'm either constantly winning a little bit of money mm -hmm. than losing a lot of the time to win a lot of money. Okay. Because a lot of these systems are you're losing, you're losing, you're losing. The one time you hit, you're gonna win all your money back. Where I would rather like cl slowly win, like. Two dollars on this spin and four dollars on this spin. Like to me, that's more fun. So I've seen this called. Uh, I've seen this paired before, where one person plays dozens, one person plays columns, and because you have a seventy percent chance of getting your half bankroll, a lot of the time you and your buddy will both win. So four thousand dollars. You and your buddy are in eight grand total. Vicky, you pick a dozen. I'll pick a column. The first. You're going to play the first dozen. I'm going to play the first column. You track your bet. I'll track mine. And when we're totally up $4,000, we'll both walk away. That's the goal. We're going to try to get one free friend to be able to play with us next time. Let's give it a go. We're playing with $100? We're playing with $4,000 buy-in. $100 is the unit. We're trying to we get $2,000. No, I won. Oh, you won. So I stay. You go up one unit. You won, you go down a unit, I go up a unit. Two. You won, you stay, I go up two or another unit, so I'm at three. 300. 21. I win, so I go down to two. And I go to two. You go to two. We're already at 900 bucks as a group. 15. Black. I'm good, so I go down to one unit, you go down to three. Or you go up to three, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. We're up a thousand bucks. I stay at one unit, you go up to four. Go on one. One. Red. It, one. it hits. It hits. So I go down to the 300 now or go back to 100? You go down to three. I go to two. We're up 1,700 bucks. 18. Red. I go down to one. You I go back up four. to four. 23. Red. You go to five. You go to two. I go to three. No, you go to two, you were just at one. I just wrote it down. Uh, first column was 100. You're right. Sorry. I trust you. 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 Stop. Stop. 1300. 22. So I go to three. You go to what? Six. We're getting into jackpot teleport here we've lost enough but we're still up 600 bucks so me and me and your partner me and vicky are very very happy with these results right now we're up 600 bucks we're getting into jackpot territory if but 12 9 6 or 3 hits then we're Walking on. we're based like vicky i think would be done i That'd think she'd done. get her four thousand. okay so you go to seven yep. right mm -hmm. you would go to four I go to four. We're down 300 bucks for the first time since we started. One, red. You're big. Turn I go to down six. to five. You, know, five. you go up to five. I, I go, go to five. To you go down to six. You need one more. 21, I hit. Red. You lost. You go to seven. Turn I go to, to four. We're up a thousand one hundred bucks. Thirty-three. Bang. So you're down to three hundred. I'm down to three. But I'm collectively, like, like we're still at twelve hundred bucks positive. So I've been giving Vicky the winnings so she can continue to play. We're still up as a team. Thirty-six. Huge. Red. What am I go? I go down 200. to two hundred. Do you go to nine hundred? Which is totally fine. This is why it's great in tandem, because we're still up a thousand bucks right now. Collectively. 13. Okay, yeah. that's that hurts us. You so go down to 300, I'm at a thousand now. I'd be that my, my I think that would be If you hit point. once, you you walk off, you're done. Twenty seven. I, don't, I, don't Red. Do I go to what? Would go to two hundred. You're at eleven hundred. We're at five hundred bucks down for the 
the day. How is a dozen not hit? It is wild. You go to 12. What am I at? You're going to go to 3. 300? Mm -hmm. This is basically... Let's go 9. I think this is our bullet. This is our last bullet. Yeah, we're down. We're going to be down to 2 grand. Because you're at 200. That puts us at 2,000, 3,000. We're at $3,300 wagered right now so we only have 700 bucks that we're holding on to off the table so if she doesn't hit the dozen 34 red this was one of the few times that it loses which is a shame too much money it's because it's too much money now i'll demonstrate so we would walk away a loser four thousand dollars that day but let's demonstrate if you had the continued bankroll you're at 1600 no we'd be at we'd be at 13 and 400 oh total bet 13 this is fictional. We wouldn't be doing this, but we're going to demonstrate how the math still works. 400. Spin. Zero. Oh my god. <laughs> Rebet. And we go up. Zero. Wow. Wild. Rebet. We're down eight grand. <laughs> 27. Red. How's the first dozen not hit? It's it's, 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 it's so it good. Happen. I love that this That's happened. That's the thing is that like sometimes it just like statistically it shouldn't happen, but it could happen. So I won mine, so I go to five hundred. Yeah. Right. No, you go up or down. You One, go down. Two, three, so three hundred. Five. I'm at I'm at six. I'm I'm watching it down here now. Oh okay okay okay. So you're at sixteen hundred, mm -hmm. and I'm at five hundred. I guess I kept. I stopped keeping track because I don't care anymore. Yeah. Zero. Wow. All right, that's it. No, we're done. And so I, I have to so, show that the math works if you have a limited amount of money. I have to. What do you mean the math works? If you win, you win your money back. That, that's not math, right? That just makes sense. Red. At this point, we're going until we see a dozen because I'm interested in it. I'm interested. She'll fast forward or cut all this because I, I really do care about seeing this. You go down to 500 here. See, this is why you're a gambler. No, 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 no. I just want to see, like... This is so statistically improbable that it's not hit the first dozen in so long. Three zeros hit and then with it five. One, two, zeros. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve times it's not hit the first dozen. It's possible. That's Obviously. How it works. That's how stat Thirteen works. times. That's how it works. Twenty nine's not good for anybody. Zeros. The zeros are wild we right now. Like at all in the other videos. There it is. Damn. Bang. We're still down nine grand. You're going to be down. Mm -hmm. But now you go, if you hit it twice in a row, you win. So you're at what? You go to 19? Yeah. I got to actually click it because if I do the rebet, it's not going to let me do it. You can't just take one unit off. And I'm at 12 hits for me too, so I go to six. Mm -hmm. That was a jackpot one. It's too much. 34. How? It's wild, boo. It's wild. 34 doesn't even win for me either, right? Yeah, so statistically, this is, like, not working the best. Three, I think three. that that's a good one. But it's still not to... enough. You don't win enough. I feel like you don't win enough. I, you can possibly win enough. But in this scenario itself, you're not winning as much as the ones that we've done before. But I think when it comes to why you're playing, Red. yeah, it's just statistically you're not covering, en covering enough of the, the board. 26. Black. Wild. Four. Yeah, I, I still think the streets are a better bet. I don't even think you need to go up on your bet. I think just staying the streets is a good... The Martingale? No, you'll lose way too much if you don't go up. You have to Martingale. That's part of it. Four hits, right? Four? So yeah, this goes up to 900. Five. It hits twice in a row. Finally. Yeah, but you're not going to win, and you're, you still haven't won your money back. Finally, yeah, but that, that's because we've lost 19 in a row, which is insane. Well, you have insane. to walk away. Oh, I, mean, I already said we walked away. Oh, okay. I already yeah, said we walked, we walked away. away. Well, then just, just quit it. So, pros. Seven. Hey! If you're playing with somebody, you can make a lot of money. Or lose a lot or of money. Or you can lose a lot of money. Cons are, I. it's one of, one of those things where you have to keep track. Am I going to keep track of what my last bet was? How drunk am I? How long drunk have we been I? in the casino? Like, why are you in the casino? <laughs> you know, there's another one. Now and there we go. Now we're at three thousand four hundred dollars. So, so the math spins. finally shows. After thirty-five spins, I cannot wait to look at this chart. We're technically not there yet. 
That's the worst part. Chart, it's fine. So we would technically have to go one more. But look at this chart. <laughs> it's not good. Not good it's it's so wibbly wobbly, but the math is still there. If you have unlimited amount of bankroll and you have no table maximums, which we definitely reached across the board, mm -hmm. you will win money. <laughs> But this is how casinos stop you because they have table maximums like because the first, they have things. Like, this is like the first example in which where we we didn't get the like, oh, uh, this is our last chance. Oh, we had a last bullet, remember? Yeah, but it just didn't hit well enough. No, know? it didn't hit. It did not hit. So we're still not there, but I want to see if we can actually get the goal. Um, 800. Wait, what one just hit? Three? Yes, yeah, so we got down to 800. If this hits... Anything we win. 15. It doesn't. Back. Why well, would it? Be, and sometimes you lose some. This, you know, especially for our part three, I mean, we've been playing probably what for like. Yeah, you want to earn free cruises. Two hours? No, I mean, that's, you know, this isn't even the system that I would suggest for that. But, Oops. and we have a video if you want to watch that video, feel free to go watch that video. Um, there are other ways of getting more comps on games. Roulette isn't always the best game to play for comps. Um, but when it comes to playing a system that right. potentially can win you a lot of money, it depends on what you're playing. To me, this isn't that much of a strategy. It's just, it's not, it's but it's the simple, math, the math is there. It's just so wild to me how the first dozen refuses to hit. What's funny is if someone always loses and someone always wins, right? That's like the idea of roulette. If you had a separate pair that was playing the second dozen and the second column, they would be up like mm. 15 grand right yeah, now. Yeah, if I would have just chosen a different column, it would have been a much different game. And that's what I that's what I actually do love about roulette is the idea that if you just play the right numbers at winning, the right time, winning, you winning can win a lot of money. Favorite. That's why you like the luck aspect. Yeah, I play luck. Statistically, it's just like, it's just, yeah. boom, it's, there, are, there are anomalies in in these kind of there are outliers in these types of games and the casino banks on those you know oh for sure for sure for sure casino always wins the longer you play they have systems in place that stop you from doing it this is one of them do we actually get to walk away with four thousand yeah. dollars we do we walk away seven thousand dollars <laughs> we got there chat we showed the math there it is at our lowest point, we were down fourteen thousand six hundred dollars. At our highest point, we walk off with seven thousand. Look, not every system's perfect, mm -hmm. and you would not be able to bet. You could have maybe bet that on some high rolls tables. On I the think, high in the high roller section, absolutely you could have. But well, the first dozen, let's see if uh, they have dozens. First dozen hit twelve times. Second doesn't hit eight. Second doesn't was worse. Yeah, it's crazy. Second doesn't hit fact, eight the times. Eyes, the eyes were the best. 16. The third doesn't hit 16 times. And, and you, then the, the column, you chose the right column. No, no, no. Mine hit mine mine was second best. First column hit 17 times. That's crazy. You were on the first column. Was I? Is that the first column? Is this considered first column? I would assume so. I would think that'd be third column because it hits the threes. But no, that you think you're right. That's first, second, third. Yeah, so I was on the right column. So if I just played by myself, I would have won a decent amount of money. You played and, and you hit that, but this is why, like, the math is there. The math will work, but casinos have systems in place that stop you. That's yeah. that's the rule of thumb for math versus sure. luck. Well, it's a lot more this... fun to play luck, but it's crazy to play math. Yeah, but it's always so, like, it's why you're there, you know? It's like if you're there because you just want to kind of, like, have fun winning and getting your money back or... You know, if you're sitting there with ten dollars and you have like five hundred bucks, like you can sit and play for a long time and have a fun time, maybe get some free drinks. Like it, you know, it's like like I said, it's the culture of it to me. It's not why you're not there to win a seven thousand dollar bankroll. If that's why yeah. you're doing gambling, then that's that's your prerogative. Yeah. But we've not talked about this a lot, but. Um, when we were trying to be professional gamblers and we were really considering it for a long time, we weren't actually going to use it as an opportunity to like make a lot of money. We were just in love with the idea of being in a casino. We never really gambled to win money. Now we have systems in place and we have gambled to win money mm -hmm. before and we've done very, very well doing that in the past. Mm -hmm. But for us, just being in the casino, 
playing with dollars like mm -hmm. like i've been to golden nugget where you play with pennies mm -hmm. it's just fun man and who cares about like if you're if you have the bankroll to support it, mm -hmm. you should always treat a casino like an arcade. Five hundred dollars in the pocket, that's how much you're paying to play the games in the arcade. Yeah, you're willing to spend that at the end of the day. That's the money you're walking into the casino. You should be comfortable leaving that casino without any of that money. The because if you're not doing that, then you're not correct. You're you you should probably call a line in the description below. Now the arcade aspect of it is and the benefit that all the adults get to do is instead of walking away with tickets sometimes we walk away with money and mm -hmm. that's just the benefit you can earn you could get a jackpot playing a random arcade game six times and walk away with an xbox sure. there's also times where you're going to play 500 dollars worth of arcade games and walk away with 10 gumballs just depends on the games you play and how you play them right exactly so always treat gamble responsibly have fun doing it that was our stream today. That was our YouTube videos. Thank you guys so much for checking this one out. Appreciate it. If you guys want to follow us, please do so. We have all of our social medias. If you guys want to send me different strategies to play with all the different games, we'll do back rack craps, blackjack even. I've seen people do strategies with three card poker. I don't know how. There are people that say that there are there. If you're a three card poker strategist and you've got strategies to play, let me let me know i would i would love to understand more about that game because to me it just looks like sit down fun drink and i have a good time playing it but i don't think there's strategy to it all that said you guys are wonderful people appreciate you play smart play with your heart always be red nose catch you guys in the next one bye